Hi, my name is Frank Skurlock and I'm here to talk to you about the carbon drive system and internally geared hubs. The full potential of carbon drive is revealed when it is paired with an internal hub. Say goodbye to noisy, high maintenance durators. Say hello to quiet, reliable, no fuss shifting and a lubrication free drivetrain. In 2009, James Bothorpe used a roll off hub combined with carbon drive to set a new record for fastest bike ride around the world. More and more bike makers are integrating the carbon drive system with internal hubs, creating stylish, multi-speed commuter bikes and touring rigs. Gates works closely with hub makers to marry our technologies. Let's take a closer look at how to integrate the carbon drive system with geared hubs. Whether you're using Nexus, Alphine, a roll-off hub, it should arrive already integrated with the rear sprocket. If not, you will need to attach the sprocket to the hub. There are three typical methods, three-lobed, thread-on, and splined. To install the hub and rear sprocket, follow the steps outlined in module two. Then it's time to install the front sprocket. On geared hub bikes, alignment is achieved by adjusting the front sprocket. That's because the rear sprocket is in a fixed position on the hub and can't be adjusted side to side. Once you've installed the front sprocket with the appropriate spacers, it's time to check the alignment. Make sure the front and rear sprockets are aligned on the same plane. Once the sprockets are aligned, slide on the belt and tension it as detailed in previous modules. Use a Cricut tester to check that it is tight. Another consideration with internally geared hubs is the shifter cable. It runs close to the sprocket, but make sure it doesn't touch. Now let's talk about roll-off speed hubs. First, the speed hub should arrive already integrated with the rear sprocket. To change the sprocket for any reason, contact your roll-off representative. Roll-offs come with a snubber. The snubber should be installed on the derator hanger. The tiny wheel should ride about a millimeter from the belt. The snubber in the belt should never touch because this will cause drag. Thanks for watching these videos and taking time to learn about the carbon drive system. We believe that carbon drive is the future of bicycle drivetrains. Get on it and you'll see for yourself.